Hey, it's your boy Nox, and I have some not-so-good news. If you already don't like Xbox Game Studios, let me give you another reason why not to like them. If you do like Xbox Game Studios, then let me give you a reason not to like them. Earlier this month, Microsoft decided to close some game studios. Two of them being Arcane Austin and Tango Gameworks, which are two game studios that I hold very, very dear to my heart. Just in case you guys don't know what games these studios made, let me just list out pretty much all of them. So Arcane Studios was responsible for everything Dishonored. That includes all the DLC plus Dishonored 2, as well as Prey and all the DLC included with that, and their more recent title, Redfall. And let's not forget the upcoming game, Blade, which is based on the Marvel, you know, Blade. As for Tango Gameworks, they're responsible for titles like The Evil Within, and The Evil Within 2, Ghostwire Tokyo, and Hi-Fi Rush. I really can't believe that Xbox Game Studios would make this decision. Like, do they not know the cult following that these titles have? Okay, maybe Redfall might not be a really good example, but like, Dishonored. Good games. So it makes me really sad thinking that I could possibly never see a Dishonored 3. Ever. And same thing with Tango Gameworks with Evil Within 2. Evil Within 2 ended on a cliffhanger. There's a good chance we'll never, ever see an Evil Within 3. And don't get me started with Hi-Fi Rush. Hi-Fi Rush was such a good game, and it sold so well. About, what, 3 million? That's insane. For a small little title that released the same day it got announced. And you don't call that a success? Now, for what it's worth, Arcane and Tango Gameworks released a statement on Twitter with Arcane saying that Today it was announced that Arcane Austin will close and development will not continue on Redfall. To everyone that has supported the work from our Austin studio over the years, thank you. Thank you for spending time in our worlds and making them your own. Arcane Lion will continue their focus on immersive experiences where they are hard at work on their upcoming project. Redfall players who purchase the Hero Pass as part of the Premium Bite Back Edition or Premium Bite Back Upgrade will be eligible to receive the value of the upgrade. While there will be no further updates, Redfall's servers will remain online for players to enjoy. I guess. I don't know. There's. I don't think there is a whole lot of people still playing Redfall. But you know what? At least they're keeping it up for those... That little player base, okay? That's a, I, I respect that, dude. Now, going back over that tweet, I realized that Arcane Studios isn't completely done. It's just cut in half now. Um, which is still not good, but it's still worrying to me. Like, are they next? If Blade doesn't live up to Microsoft's expectations, can we expect them to be the next cut? Then there's absolutely no hope for Dishonored. I'm still holding out hope for Dishonored 3, okay? <laughs> As for Tango Gameworks, that's it. They only had one studio, and Microsoft decided to say bye. This is the tweet they released. Today it was announced that Tango Gameworks will close. Thank you to everyone that explored the worlds we created. Hi-Fi Rush, along with Tango's previous titles, will remain available and playable everywhere they are today. So, I mean, y yay, that's... That's great. At least they can't take that away from us, right? It just really sucks because like I said before, The Evil Within 2 ended on a cliffhanger. So there is probably no chance for Evil Within 3 and no chance for Hi-Fi Rush 2. Here's something that made my eye twitch a bit. So less than a day after these game studios shut down, Matt Booty, the head of Xbox Game Studios, said this at a town hall he held. We need smaller games that give us prestige and awards. I'll let that sink in, but keep in mind the titles that both these game studios released and how well received the majority of them were, minus Redfall. So that's basically it. I just, I'm just so disappointed with Xbox. I'm so disappointed with Microsoft. I wish that Xbox Game Studios would see value in the titles and the worlds that they made. I don't think they care about games, to be honest. And this move kind of proves it to me. Because these little game studios made these wonderful, wonderful titles. Anyways, I've been Nox. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below.
hit the subscribe button if you are sad. <laughs> and I will catch you guys in the next streamer video.